Hi, I'm Jared Chester, part of the Bex PFR team in our London, Ohio site. If you've ever been to one of our summer field shows, flipped through a PFR book, or attended a Winter Insight meetings, you've probably seen or heard us talking on closing wheels. Today we want to summarize and kind of highlight some of our studies and some of our findings around closing wheels to hopefully help you make a decision to improve your success for 2019. To start with, I get the question, where do closing wheels give us that advantage? Really, we see that advantage from the field anytime there's any sort of planning condition that, that's less than perfect. So as you can see in this picture, um, what we define as marginal is anything that's less than ideal. So that's a heavy no-till, um, heavy residue, uh, maybe it's a part of the field that needs a little bit more tile or better drainage, any type of situation where we have difficulty getting that seed slot closed. So as the picture shows, on the left side we got uh, trying to close that trench with two solid rubbers and on the right side is that same planting situation but just using two Yetter Poly Twisters. As you can see, the, the rubbers, basically the only way that they can close the trench is just through pressure. Um, so when we're having difficulty getting that seed slot closed, our natural tendency is basically to apply more pressure. Um, so that's setting us up for some in-season problems, such as sidewall compact, compaction and hatchet roots. Um, whereas an aftermarket or a spike closing wheel, that same amount of pressure given from the springs or air system is then focused at these points. Therefore, it actually lets that sidewall be shattered and fill that trench in from the bottom up. That's what really gives them the advantage over the solid control of two rubbers or two cast wheels. Now we've looked at closing wheels for quite a while in PFR, a lot of different options and setups. Um, we're actually kind of proud in 2018, we've rolled out three wheels that we've stamp proven. To run through those, first off we got the Copperhead Ag Furrow Cruisers. They're an all plastic wheel, got a short knuckle um, all, that comes straight off the wheel. I, I really have drifted towards these shorter spiked wheels over these long spiked wheels in that they will shatter that sidewall in those tough conditions, but also they give you a little bit of firming action um, because they've got a short knuckle and part of that wheel actually does press and firm that seed slot closed. So that's the furrow cruiser. Next one's the Schaefer zipper. It's an all metal wheel. Um, the zipper, the zipper it, it holds true. As you look at that um, trench behind the planter, it really does zip it closed. Um, these spiked um, sp these metal spike wheels come off at a slight angle, helping to gather and firm more dirt. The last one that we stamp proven is the SI Distributing Finger Till Wheel. Um, it's an all metal wheel as well. So these three wheels have shown um, three-year multi-location site data uh, between three and four bushel advantage over our control of two solid rubbers. Now the last one that we've got on the stand up here, this is our Yetter Poly Twister. Um, it looks similar to our Copperhead Furrow Cruiser, it's a little different. Um, it's an all plastic wheel, but the knuckles are actually twisted as it comes off the wheel. Um, we've really seen some good results with this, but we've only tested it for two years. That's why it's not stamp proven. Um, 2017, if you think about that planting season, really challenging wet spring, uh, biggest replant scenario uh, for a large part of the country. And we really saw in those marginal conditions, these or poly twisters shine. 2018 we had a great spring, didn't see quite the advantage, but still that two-year average is a little over six bushel of an advantage. So this is our findings on corn so far. We're also looking at these closing wheel setups on beans. Um, we've tested it for two years so far in PFR, and we've seen that continued trend over our control of two solid rubbers of one to three bushel advantage. So this is what we've evaluated this far in PFR. Now 2019, we're gonna put some new spins on the, onto the, our closing wheels. We're gonna to continue to look at some of these aftermarket wheels and also some of the aftermarket systems like the Schaefer four link closer and walking axle, the fast track system, and hopefully we're gonna look at Precision's new furrow force. In addition, we're gonna try and be innovative with our closing wheels in 2019 and try and evaluate some of these setups in a high speed planning environment. So stay tuned this spring and this summer as hopefully we continue to learn more about closing wheels and hopefully this will be information that hopefully can help you make decisions for 2019. Thanks and have a great day.